So we surveyed 50 senior U.S. ad buyers. It was the sixth year in a row that we did it, and Snap just didn't show up well in it. Um, the ad buyers expect uh, to grow uh, share with Snap a little bit, but they rank dead last in user targeting, uh, return on investment, and data and measurement. And as you referenced, 96% would prefer to advertise on Instagram stories versus Snap, Snap ads. And also, Facebook dominated the survey, uh, both core Facebook and Instagram. And we think with that, it could prevent uh, dollars migrating to Snap. And with the company trading at 15 times forward revenue, and we cut our numbers pretty significantly, we're well below the street. We, we had to move to an underperform. Uh, Scott, are you in the same boat? And to what degree is their attempt to reinvent their ad platform going to fix this problem? I think John makes great points and, and Snap. You know, Facebook has a better ad platform. Facebook also has significantly more users, and that tends to be what drives advertisers to the platform is the ability to measure ROI and get a good ROI on investment. I think, though, you know, that, that investors should also keep in mind the likelihood that, that Facebook's itself facing a, a bit of a, a crisis or at least a challenge you know, that's of the magnitude that they haven't really faced since they've gone through the mobile monetization uh, transition when the company went public, um, as has been discussed with uh, Mr. Zuckerberg's um, you know, annual re New Year's resolutions that, that were published yesterday. And so there's an opportunity for a platform to emerge, whether it's Snap or not, um, that succeeds on closed circle communications. And Snap hasn't scaled yet, and certainly hasn't scaled um, their monetization capabilities, but I think there's an, it's an interesting moment in time in terms of the opportunity to go from broad communication, which is you know, dominated thus far in terms of social media, to more close circle communication, and that's an opportunity for Snap. John, that uh, Snap versus Instagram comparison is certainly an attention grabber, but I wonder if you can dig into more what you found for Alphabet's Google. I think you said the conclusions for Google were positive, but how did it exactly shake out with search ads versus YouTube, and how preferences for the social players compare to preferences for Google? Yeah, it's a, a great, great question. Um, thank you for the question. So Google search showed up great. Um, Google, again, this is the sixth year we've done it, sixth year in a row that Google search was considered to have the best ROI among ad buyers. Uh, YouTube expected, YouTube had 40% share of the ad buyers digital video spend, and that's expected to remain flat over time. The one thing we did call out is we actually expect Google to lose share uh, of global digital advertising in the next five years. It's really just a numbers thing. Um, we have them growing, their net ad revenue growth growing 11% the next five years. We have global digital advertising growing 13%. So Google's share goes from about 39% this year to 35% uh, by 2023. And it's just a function of like what's growing fastest within digital. And the two fastest channels are video and social. And, and Google's there for video, but they're not there for social. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.